Proxy Table Gaming, PTG, I'm Hyper G, he is Lucky Sixes. Uh, all right. Oh, hey. I'm trying to be Welsh because <laughs> I'm playing the oh, Welsh captain. All right. How are, how are you? Well, I don't know if that's good. I'm assuming it's bad. Simru. But... <laughs> What's that mean? Wales in Welsh. Oh, is it? Oh, Simru. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll, again, don't know if that's bad, but I'm going to say it's terrible. Moving on. So, Warriors, are you in the team tournament? Um, it's, I am it's Warriors. It's Hellmore O'Clock. Um, and, We're on day two. Um, yeah. And, and you had a, a slight recovery in round three, didn't you? Hmm. Yeah. So, and, and we are playing uh, the Welsh leaks. Why not? We played the second Welsh team. We played both. So, yeah. Yeah, you weren't sure who it was the first time. So whichever one it wasn't it's the, the first the other time, yeah. it's nearly the other ones. Yeah, And and leeks okay. are better than daffodils, right? So that's why Ollie was on it. Are they? I quite I like know. a daffodil. Yeah. Anyway. Um, about the dandelion, this... anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. tell me about that. <laughs> no one, no one against... likes a dandelion. <laughs> Don't get me started on dandelion. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope you followed uh, our last battles, but basically this is number four. This is Warriors of the Dark. It must have been. The Helmore list, uh, where everything can be te teleported by the Helmore. Everything being the Exalted Herald, the Chosen Lord, Sorcerer, uh, both on foot going in the Sloth Brick um, of Warriors. We've got Fallen, Warhounds, Chaff, Ten Chosen, Great Weapon of Wrath, which are uh, yeah, doing half and half. They've been, they've been mm -hmm. cutting down and being cut down themselves. So, yeah. Uh, four yeah. chosen knights who are the zoners of this list, apparently, uh, and they a chosen are. chariot uh, as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. On to Ollie's Infernal Dwarves, uh, and he has a prophet general uh, of Asherah on the seat of authority. Uh, he's a master alchemy pyro, but mm, a spoilers, yeah. he chooses alchemy. Um, Vizier sure. uh, busy BSB uh, with Legion Standard in the Blunderbuss unit. Uh, he's got a conjurer apprentice with witchcraft for raisin's wing goodness. Um, I like that. Two lots of blunderbuss infernal warriors. One with the legion yep. standard that are going to go with the bastion mm -hmm. uh, and some of the characters, if not all. Uh, and the other one with flaming standard. Uh, he's got some vassal levies for scoring. Uh, some disciples of Luger who are very uh, scary, but are strength four, so yeah. that's a thing. Yeah, just a lot of attacks, uh, isn't it? A lot of attacks, uh, and probably reroll to wound because they're in innate flaming, and then your alchemy. So you're like, sure. yeah, okay. yeah. Three Toric anointed with paired weapons. I think paired weapons is better than great weapons, but um, that's just my personal preference on them. Um, a yeah. gunnery team, uh, Naps the Thrower, and then two Kadim Titans, both with a walking volcano, but one yeah. being a rocket battery and one being a Naps the Thrower, big boy. So yeah, um, on the face of it. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, we played Encircle and uh, Breaking Flags, which is, uh, again, an ET this is all ETC things, but it's uh, part of the new scenarios. Um, and you are looking to go Breakthrough uh, and uh, Capture the Flag. Capture the flag so as well. it's a com combination yeah. of that, and it's all on the screen there. Okay. Um, it was... Yeah. In the end, it was capped at three for breakthrough because I don't think it's officially in the wording, but they're going to be playing that at ETC, right? Uh, as in capped at three, so we we played that. Yeah. Whether or not for this tournament it was actually the case, I'm not sure. But Ollie wanted to play. Mm -hmm. Like in the end, we we worked it out, and then we got a rule in in the game. So there was actually a bit of like mid game. Okay, so what's that actually mean? What are we doing here? Like so, right. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, there was mo that's, so it wasn't decided before, and then during <laughs> middle of the battle, it was then decided. Okay. Um, in terms of our uh, matchups, mm. uh, I I knew it was going to be green against Saurians. I just knew yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Paul, isn't it? So it's going to be um, green anyway. So we'll go. Yeah, we'll go through them. We got um, uh, Luke uh, really wanted the Scourge and the Demons list. Um, he said that he's right. decent at home, and none of us really wanted it, so we were happy to give it to him. Mm. Uh, Paul against the Saurians. He said he didn't really know what it is, but I'll put it down as a green, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Love um, Paul's optimism. Uh, uh. Clusey got Warriors, um, and this was um, Chris. Chris's 
four units of warrior knights. Uh, oh, okay. Warriors. And he said, you know, I've, I've got a decent amount of magic. It might be a bit swingy. Um, but yeah, put me into it. It's fine. Uh, and I I took the red uh, because no, oh. one wanted, no one wanted to fight Infernal Dwarves um, mm. with it, uh, mainly with the Alchemy Master. But yeah, it was a red for me because it's Alchemy Master and he uh, he's just a little bit less elite than me. And I've got a small army in particular. But um, I've got ways to around to play. And as you'll see yeah. from this one, it was a super tactical battle. So this right. wasn't, I played it like a red and tried to get, maximize everything. So oh, super tactical. Did you do him with the eyes at the start and say, oh, Absolutely. yeah, I can't believe you gave me a green on this one. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was, wasn't, there was and a And then not like, move forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He was like, I've got Alchemy Master, why would you want this? I was like, because I'm going to take you down, Ollie. And then get myself <laughs> going, I don't know why I took this. <laughs> um, yeah. I got Sorcerer Immortal and Mardia Spirit, uh, as is hard targets, very, very useful against uh, the shooting with the Infernal Dwarves. Mm -hmm. um, and Sorcerer Immortal is the auto take, and that is too good yeah. uh, not to have. Yeah. This is uh, the deployment. And as you can see, I, I kind of set up to. Maximize the Helmor, but also to minimize. He's only dwarfs, right? And I know he can triple march, but he can only march nine. And mm. when he started putting stuff down, it was very obvious. I so I chose sides, and he started putting stuff down. I don't know whether he actually went first. I can't remember. Um, but well, it looks like he's about to move it forward. Was, yeah, it was very nine obvious inches. that he, like, after a few drops, that he was gonna take that corner. Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. I kind of, I kind of put everything. On this side, apart from my warriors, which were quite late on, um, which was the gamble. Okay, this is my gamble. Yeah, and I'm, I'm interested. I, if you if it's I, such a red, why are they not over on the left side as well? Yeah, and yeah. Wait well, for him to come to you. So the reason that was it because that was my play to make a game of it, and right, I could have, I, I definitely had the option of putting my warriors over this side and just marching up and just just getting a ten ten and seeing what we could do from range each other. That yeah, was yeah. it was a definite option, and so the most part I've played into that. But with the mm -hmm. Helmore, I do have an option to get them out of there. Obviously, it has to be before I can't remember if it's before turn four or on turn four. It was quite important, obviously. But um, yeah, I have the option of because I can march twelve, march twelve, get them out of it. And my right. um, my first uh, what's it called uh, marker is on the right hand side because I'm thinking, well, right. if I need to support that unit. I've got like chosen and stuff that going. If he marches, just marches up at me, I can go behind him. So there's options there. Mm -hmm. But basically, my gambit was right. I've got to stop his scoring getting into my scoring. And yeah. the way he placed it, he's got. Um, so if we go on to uh, objectives, I've got. Uh, sorry, uh, deployment. Chosen knights, chosen Helmor behind, herald in the middle, chosen chariot, uh, fallen, and then dogs. Fallen and dogs are just there to be chaff potentially. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I don't need that. And I'm out of range of any sort of march and shoot from the blunderbuss. So that's, and mostly everything that can shoot can't shoot me. So there's yeah. that okay. as well. I've also got my warriors with sorcerer and general in there. And the way he deployed, he's got Kadim Titan, Kadim Titan protects in his flank. He's got the um, flaming blunderbuss with his BSB in there. Um, he's got his bastion blunderbuss. Um, then his. Torok anointed, uh, so then his disciples, then his yeah. Torok anointed, and then at the back his vassal levies. Obviously, the vassal it's capped at three, so he only needs to get three in potentially. But doing that means that he can't put his Torok anointed this side of that that um, house. It also means yeah. that I'm unlikely to get flank charge with that unit because I've got a, yeah. a house on that side, wall on that side. As long as I can squeeze through, I can like pivot ever so slightly to just. So if he does really start move, if he just ignores me, then I I come into it and I'm I'm sort of counter punching him like that. So th this is my only play to get like it's, it's my you thought. thought about this one a lot. <laughs> and this was a real and this was I was like right it's a red I could get a ten I could just get a ten we'll just shake and we'll just yeah. drink but it's you know it's, it's in the morning. <laughs> I think game five I would have shook. Him Why is that a problem? <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, yeah. But this way. I've I've got a chance of my chosen and chosen knights can go up to the top, to get the objectives. That's two in the objective. Mm. It's just getting that third. If I can actually push through or stop two of his four getting into my objective, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. win the objective. 
And mm. for the most part, if that happens, it's going to be a 10 10. Maybe I lose some chaff. So I lose like mm. 11 and then take to 12. So that's the idea. But whether or not that happens, we'll, we'll see. But that's the idea. I mean, I was just going to say, well done for taking a picture before you moved. But you know, know. fair enough. Yeah, you can yeah. tell us all that if you want. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> Um, he goes. He does go first. He's out of range of most things, I think, mm-hmm. uh, in his movement, and he just sort of shuffles up. Uh, disciples coming at me. Uh, he 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 likes that combat, especially with the idea that he's probably going to get a reroll to wound off. I actually quite like it as well because strength four, mm. AP two into my um, uh, armor three up, three up. spike mm. shields. I think will actually yeah. do a lot of damage considering he doesn't have. He only has a five up. Uh, ages, yeah. I think it is. I'm like your word of iron to help you out as well. Mm. Exactly, and I do have my my alchemy guy over there. So I'm like, I'm, I don't think that's. We're, I, we're both kind of going. It's a swingy combat, but I. But both mm. of us are going. But it's in our favour. <laughs> so <I think> <laughs> really interest. Yeah. I'm I'm super interested. Mm. As you can see, the anointed are behind there. He's also um, surrounded my Helmor marker, so I can't teleport anything. So well done to him sure. for that. Mm-hmm. Um, he, the only thing in range is silver spike uh, and molten copper. I stop molten copper. Uh, he gets spike off, wounds me. Does two wounds. Fair enough. Um, uh, I then move up like so. I move pretty much back uh, with the the chosen chariot. Everything else sort of fans out around that flank. Um, my herald with his minus one to hit and soft cover. Any shooting at is minus two in that forest. And I'm pretty, which is mostly hitting on sixes, even his big stuff. Um, yeah, or sevens. So I, I'm pretty happy there to take that chance. I've got an Aegis as well, um, and I just want to be in range to be able to um, Hellfire and Grave calls his Kareem t- Titans. That's going to be my game plan for nicking points. If one of those goes down, that's a game point or yeah. a, 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 a tournament point. So yes. if I can get one of them, happy days. And if not, and if worst game scenario, and- I think it'll keep him back. Yeah, and if you do get round there, especially with your storing stuff, he can't quickly get stuff over there to counter it, can he really? So, yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, that's my turn. Otherwise, my warriors on that, that side just move up very tentatively, but so that there's no flankage, basically, mm-hmm. to start that yeah. plan. Um, I, my first grave calls fails oh, to no. cast, so I get nothing off <laughs> in the first round. Um, sucks to be me. Yeah, uh, really other, does. otherwise it moves on and uh, this is his movement so again not a lot in terms of action but there's all no. all this uh, subtext Jostling. I think that's going around <laughs> uh, really and it's you know what what does he do does he then change his army to come over me this way or does he think about that warriors and and for the most part the Helmore uh, and as you can see the Helmore put his token uh, by that can of Pepsi Mac, Max other Maxes mm-hmm. are available um, in they the are. top left, <laughs> so it's whether or not um, he, he's doing really well to stop that affecting the game, and also, but he's also thinking about the Hellmore stuff and the Warrior stuff. So I'm just getting him thinking. That's all my plan is to try yeah. and get him thinking. Well, I'm thinking as well. I'm thinking, does Ollie think this is a green or not, mm. or does he think it's a red too? <laughs> Which I'll would tell be you funny because I do. Okay, I do know, okay. You know. Oh, okay, good. Um, it, it, nothing else happens because I've I've moved in my last turn. So basically, it was a bit of a mistake leaving my um, chariot within any sort of range uh, sure. whatsoever. So yeah. actually, because I got to go second as well. But um, I I, did, I meant I corrected that in my second turn, and because of that, he he couldn't shoot or do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, on my turn, I move my I start moving my Helmore this way to give me options with that warriors unit. I think. I'm not, I'm not going to be teleporting any of my big stuff over there because he's just too good at no. moving over the objectives that way. So the only yeah. thing my objectives, my um, so not objectives, the helmet markers, the only thing they're going to be doing is um, getting the warriors out if they need to be. Yeah, uh, well, uh, getting the warriors out, but also the markers are going to be blowing up to maybe get some sure. uh, wounds here and there. Um, so yeah. that's all they're going to do that side. But yeah, uh, move up like so. Um, the, I get Silver Spike off and his Torque Anointed. Again, he stops Grave Calls. Um, so he puts all his dice into that. And I could Hellfire or I could go for his School Ring. And that's what I tend to 
start doing now because if i can stop that unit which is his fastest unit getting over i might have a chance of drawing or even winning the objective yeah yeah uh i also get word of iron off to pump them up by one so i'm now two up armor to any blunderbussness that's coming mm -hmm. yeah very good. um and uh this is the infernal dwarves movement he's basically using the kadeem titans as stopping me advancing which is fair enough because mm -hmm. they do have the what's i forget what's called the flame slash uh, on the alchemy things okay um yeah whatever that's called. volcanic uh, embrace uh, yeah no, you don't that. mean that do you yeah, yeah it's, it's the one that's um metal shifting mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, both yeah. my chosen AP and 10. my chosen knights mm -hmm. don't really like that um mm -hmm. So, yeah, but he knows that I can't go into this blunderbuss unit, so he's kind of moving them forwards into my objective area, which is fair enough, a deployment zone. <laughs> but his other ones are kind of all lumped up over here, so he's got three over here. So now, yeah. can I stop him? I'm, I'm winning. You're a long way from your hell more of them, isn't it? So the, the uh, exit yeah. strategy is not really there, as far no. as I can tell. No, so, yeah. it's not. Um, <laughs> On to my turn, though, nothing else happens on his. Uh, that actually might be my movement as well, because I've got my chosen knights right yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, you've moved out ever so slightly. So mm. that might be a combination of both. I think, I think your Hellmore's actually moved back. Yeah, I so think you, at You've this given point, up on the exit strategy. I was... the exit. Yeah, so this is turn three, and I wasn't enough. I, I, annoyed, I was so annoyed, because I wasn't enough to teleport them this turn. I could teleport no. them this turn uh, if I could march up and be within six, but I wasn't enough. So I was like, right, well, no. they they won't be scoring, which means I won't win the objective by putting them over yeah. there. So mm -hmm. let's stick with plan A. So that was yeah. my plan B was to get them out of dodge and get 10-10, whatever. Plan A was this. Um, again, into magic, my only thing I get off... Uh, so I, he stops Grey Pools. He's just pumping all mm -hmm. the things into Grey Pools, which means I'm not getting the Kadeem Titans. And I go, well, I'm close enough now. I'll put all the rest of my dice into a plus two where the one so I'm one up armor. So if those disciples do decide to come in, I'm I'm pretty happy uh with mm. that uh, as I, as it goes. With sloth as well, remember. So he's wounded me on fives and spike shield if he does wound and I save them. So I'm pretty happy there. On to his movement. Ooh. And again, uh that flaming blunderbuss unit is just marching up into my objective. It's just gonna get my objective, which is fair enough. Um he chaffs me with his bastion unit. And leaves mm -hmm. enough space so that if I go in, he can counter charge with my disciples, with his disciples. Um, yeah, I mean they've got combat roads for days. Aren't they? Like they're know, plus eight. Much. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And they're not actually easy to wound either. Nick. No, great you, weapons. You they got... haven't got too many attacks. To be fair, no, it's not. It's not the damage they do back. But you just don't no. really kill that many to break the yeah, plus eight. Exactly. So, so yeah. they are a they are a real brick, and I'm going to need some big mm. man. But it's it's likely that it's going to be two or three combat phases. I'm not mm. sure if I've got enough no. in me. However, it does mean that the way he's placed it, and I, re I realized at the time, um, he won't be able to multi charge me if I do my no. stuff. So I've got a movement phase to basically stop him multi charging me with both those units. And yeah. uh, not maximizing disciples, so I'm actually, I'm not too bad. We're, we're and and my objective is happening. It's stopping those two scoring units, with the the mm. second being the vassal levies, but right behind from getting in yeah. my objective. So it's now it's a bit of a traffic jam. Clearly yeah. obvious that it's just the anointed that I need to work on. Mm. It's fair enough. Um, over here he gets word of iron off on these guys. I stop Raven's Wing for any jank that I haven't seen. Basically, that's the yeah. one I'm I'm looking out for now. I'm like, what I don't want Definitely. is him to get mm -hmm. the adv advantage by moving one of his scoring uh, into my yeah. objective or being able to shuffle that I haven't seen. <laughs> so, like yeah. the rest of the stuff, I can I'll just take. But that's well, it's an out of sequence move, off. isn't it, Raven? It foxes yeah. it foxes me a lot. Like it's one of the reasons I just don't take it anymore because I just don't think I'm good enough to apply yeah. it properly. So yeah. defending against it, and I'm, I'm giving worse. I'm yeah. giving Ollie the respect he deserves as Sinru right. captain, um, <laughs> that he will be able to use it correctly, and I oh, don't yeah. want that to happen. So no. uh, yeah, but blunderbuss happens; he gets two wounds. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, and this is Warriors turn four movement again. I haven't been able to, and he's doing really well. And I, I don't know whether this is a positive for the Helmore, but he's doing really well at stopping me 
teleport into any sort of positive mm-hmm. position. But he is having to hang back to do it and really yeah. think about that from my point yeah. of view. So uh, as you can see, I put a second one uh, there uh, under the hill. Um, and it's just uh, this because this is my movement. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's not doing a lot. But it is preventing him from doing something. So it's a bit of a one of them yeah. ones, really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you magic mm-hmm. resistance type, you know. It's it, mm. no one goes against the like the hard target on the uh, herald. Yeah. No one Shoot goes against something him else. when he's got herald. Yeah, magic against something else. Doing, yeah. So yeah. it's one of those. It's it's very. Um, I, I've said it before. Subtextual, I think. What what it's doing in this battle, mm. whereas because I, I know a few people have previously said, ah, oh, so the helm wall's not doing much. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a like defensive speaking, midfielder. Yeah, he'll never get yeah, man yeah. of the match, You're but he's really, really important. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not directly doing anything. I will concede that it is indirectly mm. doing stuff though in the battle mm. that you perhaps can't see from the, the reports. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep. So that's my turn. Um, I. This is. Uh, I think this is me getting word of iron off again. And just showing mm-hmm. you what uh, the movement is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one blows up to kill off an anointed, um, but okay. obviously it sticks around. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and this one uh, getting word of iron. So I think the last one was just showing you that I went seven wide uh, and mm-hmm. just about managed it. Uh, I get word of iron, so I'm one up armor again, and I'm like, and I'm in a position where he can't counter charge because of the way the bastion unit yeah. is currently put. Um, yeah, he, I mean, he, yeah, I suppose you're not worried in. about the Bastion unit charging you and being plus nine combat res. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, over here, he does two wounds to my dogs who panic oh, and go off the board. Oh, so anno- I, I think that's it was, major points in this yeah, engagement. 120 points, that is. Um, yeah, so it's not quite yeah. a beat, uh, battle point, so there's that, but it is something to be wary of. Yeah. Uh, and Blunderbuss comes down and does five wounds to me. This time oh. round, I'm like, oh, you're all in good, mate. You're all in good. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, over here, this is just showing you what these units, they're literally just turning around. They're chilling. They look, yeah. they look at the, the Chosen are looking for battle on the other table now because yeah. they know that they're not going to get it here. Um, but yeah. we are an objective and the points are safe for these, is what that picture yeah. shows. Um, this is my turn. Five movements, so we've got one more turn each after this. Uh, basically, Helm War and Fall and get out of dodge. Uh, the Herald, pretty happy there, just pew-pewing and taking some woundage um, yeah. and distracting, really. But again, he's just distract. He's just stopping Grave Calls every single time with all his dice. Yeah. So I'm just... It's, it's not that I'm not trying. I'm casting it every single time. <laughs> You're not it's trying, just, Lucky Six. He's just stopping me do it. Um, and <laughs> Just not trying either, hard enough. Yeah, then it's either what do I do? I can't see the tool rock here, um, so I end up putting word of iron off again. So it's again, it's not a. It's very tactical and very um, stalematey, I guess at this point. Yeah. Uh, over to oh, I haven't got a thing, but this is uh, Infernal Dwarves last turn. Uh, so they move up like so. Yeah. They are as you can see the the, the tool rock are now in my objective, and that's yeah, really what I want to do. But it is after two, two. declaring cha- charges, and he's decided not to go in. So I'm okay. pretty happy that he yeah. stopped two of the objectives getting in. Uh, I'm going to at least draw the objective. Draw the objective so now. Yeah. Okay. What can I do basically to get rid of those tool rock? And I think he mm. realizes that because he puts the titan in front of me. Um, right in front, in, in yeah, front blocking, yeah, to, to block. and uh, as you can see, just there, he has he has got, I think there's three wounds each, so he's got five sure. wounds left in the, the unit, so it's not, mm-hmm. um, you know, but he does put word of iron on them to just mm-hmm. double up on the. I need to keep these alive. Yeah. Um, this is just showing your blunderbussness and how many have died over the course of five, six turns. <laughs> yeah, um, is that half points now? Not quite. No, it's need to be. Uh, less than twenty five percent. So I'm I'm all good as long as I don't go in and die. And well, yes, I have it, and I'm like, you're not going to let me do that. You didn't go in with twenty. You're not going in with no. Um, I I move up my. This is the last turn of the game. I move up my magic guys for that. He binding scrolls grave calls. I, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I I try a mixture of hellfire and quick clash, but I don't get it. Don't get them off. I uh, don't wound the thing. So that was my. It was a last ditch. 
They're very unlikely to happen, but if it did, it would have been great. And unfortunately, that end endeth the game. And mm. um, considering nothing happened, <laughs> nothing happened. <laughs> I talked through that very it. well. <laughs> I came out of it thinking that was a really good battle, um, but yeah. not obviously because of what actually happened. It was more like yeah. the tactical side of things. And yeah, there wasn't I... a single combat. No. Which I was warriors really, with a, as a red <laughs> who fight I was really happy for, and he he yeah. pro, uh, proclaimed at the end that it was a green for him, and I was like, yeah, it probably oh. is. So, I guess the only thing I can take from it because we had a little chat afterwards, but we didn't give too much away either way. Um, and I like Ollie, so we we chatted about a lot of different things, um, oh, and it actually took quite a lot of time. <laughs> so it was. It, you know, it wasn't like it didn't just happen in the half hour. You would imagine nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, take out all the decisions in between, and that would have taken twenty minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was a really interesting one. What I, what I do think is, I think I got it right in terms of having to split my forces, having that that big brick that is really hard to to shift um, mm. there. I I think Ollie was overly cautious. Um, yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, I kind of chatted. We were chatting throughout the battle, and I think I gave away, and we both ended up coming to the conclusion that his disciples couldn't take my block because I think that was right. his initial plan, and maybe and after two or three, him out of I think yeah, because of Spike Shield, because he was. We were both playing a big, a bit of a big dick game. You know, like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. big dick energy. What you always do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I no. think I played yeah. it too much and <laughs> <laughs> and gave away that actually. You just slapped with, it on the table and said, well, with, there it is. <laughs> yeah. With with Sloth, with Spike Shield, with Word of Iron, Word of Iron. and with a Lord in there. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we both kind of. We were both like, oh, it's swingy. And then we were both like, nah, the, the Warriors win that. And so he had to bring in his other bastion brick with combat res, which the blunder really was to the way. Yeah, I, th I think was the way to kill me. I think mm. I don't think I uh, hold up to that. No, I, I would have. I think. <coughs> I think I if I if I were Ollie and I'm nowhere near the player that Ollie is, obviously and and stuff. I think I would have charged the bastion in. Yeah, the bastion unit in last the, turn. The one um, thing that I think lets him down is that, and we rolled it out afterwards, and we, I, I ended up holding, but I don't think I should have. Um, the the thing that lets him down is his bastion is actually pretty easy for my my lord to kill, right? Because um, okay. it's only and that's providing a lot five. of the combat res, and mm. the yeah because of the thing. So after two rounds, I I think I kill it, um, and yeah yeah, it 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 makes them a lot worse. And the, on well, things. they're just but, not a bigger unit template. Yeah, and it's points as well that I don't. I think if I can True. manage to kill that quickly, I think I get mm. uh, and I, like we just stick around and I get points. So I think yeah, there's 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 pros and cons. I I think overall he wins. I think I think on averages, if it's just average, he wins. But it, it's so swinging, mm. it, it's so so finite as well. That um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, great battle. Um, and it meant that it was a ten ten. <laughs> So of course we could have the only all the victory dogs. points. How the dogs the let dogs. you down? I know, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, if they pass that five test, maybe. Uh, but anyway, it zero is, zero draw. Yeah. Uh, uh, Amazing, but a, a board draw, so to speak, um, in mm. that regard. But yeah, I do think there was a lot to think about. Um, he doesn't get the objective; he draws the objective. So I don't know why that's there. Yeah, um, I should <laughs> put one on both sides. Put that there. Uh, and yeah, what idiots for that there. Um, and in terms of the oh, the Saurians lost. Uh, yep, yeah, Paul was completely right to that was Drew. Of course he was. Uh, Drew Saurians. Yeah. Um, uh, Luke didn't quite come home with a green. Uh, in terms of that, he okay. got a, a draw. Uh, it went really, really badly. A Paul draw. Yeah. yeah, a Paul draw. Um, really badly for Clusey. Chris ended oh, up gosh. who Clusey was playing ended up being the top scorer of the event with that Warriors. Oh, list. okay. Um, and mm. in this one, he rolled. <laughs> apparently, um, there was a, a double six flank charge with one of the warrior units to just go through 
some of the high elves Gosh. units. And um, Chris didn't see it until Cluzy egged him on to take it. And boy, did he get his comeuppance. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> so it was one of yeah, those. Brilliant. Um, brilliant. And uh, I ended up getting a a, a 10 10 as well. Of course, uh, you did. From, yeah. from out of that, uh, which meant we won by one, I think. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I hadn't worked it out. Yeah. Nice. So all, all we, yeah, it's, it's very, again, a really, yeah, really is. tiny victory. Uh, for yeah. Team Rock Paper Scissors Empire, um, and... Team Rock Paper Scissors Middle Ground Empire, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, a really, really fun battle, and uh, glad to play Ollie. I always like playing Ollie. We actually always have like I've decent, played, yeah. decently mm. tactical battles uh, with it. Uh, but if you liked that, please go on X, formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, uh, and our Patreon, uh, which we are mm. playing more and more Patreons every 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 week um, which is really cool um and of course the night age forum as well um coming up to the end of this tournament uh and we've got a few more games because we had a gaming day with some of the grotto lads uh and uh etc um so yeah uh after that though we are our sites are set on 3.0 so they really are um, it's, it's exciting we'll be, times we'll be finishing days. off all the battles that we've played um, including yeah. the tournament and the gaming day, and then we are going to be moving over. So if you, if that's something you 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 are interested in, uh, do share, like, and subscribe. Because uh, uh, if you subscribe, you'll get notifications uh, telling you when three point comes out. Um, and ring that bell. Uh, there's a there's a bell mm. button somewhere on somewhere. YouTube. Yeah, somewhere. it'll be on your screen um, somewhere. Uh, press that <laughs> button. Um, yeah. But Unless yeah. you've already got it highlighted, in which case, don't unpress it. But you know, yeah. And uh, again, we've said about some comments, but but if you could leave comments on your most tactical ball score balls <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that <laughs> happened, that you came out of thinking it was a good battle, but actually probably wasn't the best battle in terms of action and things. Um, let us know your yeah. your thoughts on those types of battle. Whether you just shake on those if they're obviously going to come up um, as well, um, and. Or some really well, good battles where nothing's really happened, but you both enjoyed yourselves. The thing is with this one, though, if Ollie was going in thinking it was a green, you were going in thinking it was a red. Neither of you were going to shake on a ten ten. Well, Ollie wasn't going to offer a ten ten, or if he did, you would have snapped it up probably. So it's a bit difficult to see how that could have ever come about as a shake. Well, really. yeah, I mean, further to that conversation, because a lot was we got to the point where he had deployed and I was ready to deploy the rest of my units and I actually went to Paul again and I said look I can get a t I can deploy so that he's really yeah. got no other option to 10 than 10 10 mm -hmm. by putting the warriors over this side and just going up the flank and just having my herald there shooting or yeah. I can play and that was my play mm -hmm. to actually mm -hmm. make a game of it and things he goes nah you've come here all this way play, make a game so it wasn't <laughs> Yeah, it was. There was possibilities within that. If I Toruk, if his Toruk die, or I cut target them a bit quicker, then maybe that's mm. uh, that's probably the big lesson here. But yeah, so, so what Paul at, what Paul actually said was, "Bring me a green." He did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. go and win a game, and uh, I brought yeah. back a draw. So yeah, yeah. No, um, no. but no, yeah. So there was that. But yeah, um, one more to go uh, in our last mm. one. So that's uh, fun. Um, and yeah, like, share, subscribe, uh, put some comments down. And yeah, thanks for watching. Really? Mm. Yeah, we'll see you later. I don't say that. <laughs>